okay, so we, it's not easy to compress, not easy to distribute. If we could do pipes, but that seems like just based on like just piping for natural gas and the investment that would be involved with that, that'd be too, perhaps too difficult. Or maybe you can't find enough buyers of the hydrogen to justify the expense of the laying down the new pipe, right? Like that might need to find a bunch of people willing to buy that yeah. uh, to amortize the investment of the infrastructure. So why are we messing with hydrogen? <laughs> because in the decarbonization fight, it doesn't seem we have a choice. So okay. there are many things that we can electrify, such as uh, the electricity grid to, for the most part, uh, you can put solar panels on your roof and uh, produce a lot of clean energy for your home. And right, like the electricity can be used in everything from laptops, fans, air conditioners. And now with the electric vehicle revolution, we can also tackle light transport with electricity. However, there are many problems in energy and climate that are not so easy to electrify. So for example, we use a lot of fossil fuels in the making of fertilizer. Like literally, this is one of my favorite quotes about how hard climate change is to tackle. Half the nitrogen in our bodies like today uh, came from um, synthetic ammonia synthetic fertilizer that is made uh, from natural gas, basically. And so if we stop using fossil fuels today, half of humanity will have to starve and die. <laughs> we literally can't feed that many people. If we were like, no more fossil fuels, yeah. pull a whole, pull whole ban yeah, on Pull it. the plug tomorrow, half of people will have to die. Because we don't- Just from food alone. Right, right. So and you can't, you can't uh, electrify that. But you could use hydrogen uh, as that's a chemical process, right? Like you're making chemicals. Hydrogen can be that chemical that facilitates the production of synthetic ammonia. Okay. Right. So that's just one example of why you need, like, let's say, a clean fuel instead of just an electron. There are other things such as making metals. Uh, let's say you're making steel. The best, there's both a chemical reaction that needs to happen when you make steel. For example, you need to, it's called reduction, but basically you need to remove oxygen from your messy iron ore so that it becomes a high concentration of just a metal atom. Mm. So you need something to take away the oxygen. So that's one of many reactions uh, that today is done with fossil fuels. And also you just need to get it to very high temperatures. So glass, cement, steel, iron, silicon, all involves a step in manufacturing where yeah. something is heated to all over essential a stuff. thousand Celsius. Wow. Okay. You are not gonna be able to easily provide that with electricity. Uh, today it's done by burning fuel. So that's why people are looking in the, in the fight for decarbonization they're looking for some fundamentally clean fuel that they can use since they can't use an electron. And that's why despite all the challenges of hydrogen we've discussed, there are still massive investments going in because we don't really know what else to do. And we're, we're all working very hard to solve these challenges so that eventually, just like solar used to be 10 times more expensive, right? Than uh, coal, coal power, power plants. And a lot of innovation investments went in to bring it down and now it works. We know there's all these other sectors of the economy. We need to decarbonize. Electricity is not gonna do it, but if we can get hydrogen a lot cheaper, a lot more accessible and a lot more cleaner, then we can decarbonize all those sectors as well. Visit throughthenoise.us for more episodes and subscribe to our newsletter. This show is produced by Through the Noise Consulting, uniting external communications and internal IT functions to ensure data and privacy are protected while creating innovative communications platforms. Want to start your own podcast? We can help. Visit getthroughthenoise.com to learn more.